Hiya, my name's Katie and I'm the illustrator of Omar the Bees and Me, written by Helen Mortimer. It's a book about friends, but also bees and plants. So I thought it'd be really fun to show you how you can make your own wildflower painting with bees, just like in the book. So today we're going to use some paints, some paper obviously, and crayons, felt pens, whatever you've got, pencils, you can use anything. I'm going to start off by painting some colourful flower heads and I'll show you some very simple shapes, which they could be. So the first one is just a few curvy strokes all coming from the same middle point. So you can either draw them going into a point or away from a point. And if you do the strokes a bit chunkier, then they look a bit more like thicker petals. The next shape, it, it starts with like a U shape and then you do a zigzag on top. You could fill it in or you can leave it empty, whatever you want to do. This one works nicely for leaves as well. The next one is my favourite. It's kind of just like an asterisk. Asterisk. So a bunch of strokes all going into the same middle spot, all coming away from the same middle spot. And you can do a blob of a second colour in the middle as well. And then the next one, it's like a big bubbly line, kind of like a cloud, and then just rounded at the bottom. And you can fill that in or leave it empty, whatever you want to do. And the last one is just random blobs. The fun thing about painting flowers is there's so many different types. And they're so bright and colourful. They move around a lot. So this could be as scribbly or as abstract as you like. And for this we want it to look nice and busy. So we're going to start painting some stems for the flowers so it makes a nice green colour and once you've got a few start using some different shades of green and filling in some of the gaps in the back just being nice and messy with it and then let that dry for a bit. Once it is dry we're going to go in with some more stuff. So I've got some felt pens here, just add in some more green in different shades. And then going in and adding more stems with crayons. So the crayons I like to use are wax crayons and they sit really nicely on top of paint and other stuff. So I really like using wax crayons. Use lots of different shades of greens and blues and light greens, dark greens. Then we can add more details to the flowers we've already painted. So go in with some darker colours, colouring in on top of the painting, just adding more shapes really. You can be as abstract as you like with it, you can look at photos of flowers if you want to online or look out the window see if you can spot any flowers or you could just make up your own and make up some weird alien flowers. Just making it look nice and busy and colourful, using lots of nice bright colours to attract all the bees. Maybe add some little thorns onto the stems. Some bits of pollen flying in the air. Uh... 
Okay, so the next bit, it gets a little bit messy. You're gonna get some yellow paint onto the tip of your finger. It's quite handy having a spare bit of paper nearby so you can dab off the excess paint. Then you're just gonna use your finger to stamp some little blobs, which are gonna turn into bees. You can use your little finger to make some smaller bees or your thumb to make some bigger bees. Then we're going to add some details to the bees, so starting with the wings which are just a tall M shape on the top of the bees. Adding their stripes, so use a nice dark colour. So you want to have a few stripes and then a chunkier bit on the front for their face. And then a little stinger on the back. Again I'm using wax crayon here which sits on top of the paint really nicely. You could also use like a felt tip pen or some more dark paint if you don't have wax crayons. Normal crayons should work fine as well. And there you go, it's a fun wildflower picture. You can do whatever you like with it really, you could send it to a friend if you want to cheer them up. You could add bits of paper, collage. You could even stick dried flowers to it, that would look pretty cool. If you do give this a go, tag me on Instagram or send me an email because I'd definitely love to see. Thanks for watching!